Hey beautiful souls, today we will be talking about how to improve the air quality in your home. I will go over how to eliminate individual sources of pollution, I will cover the health risks associated with bad air quality, and I will also give you some tips on how to improve your air quality daily. There is so much pollution in the air now that if it weren't for our lungs, there'd be no place to put it. Robert Orban Did you know that air pollution is the fourth largest threat to human health behind high blood pressure, dietary risks, and smoking? Having good air quality is so important, so here are some ways to make sure you aren't contributing to the problem. Take your shoes off before you enter the house. Wearing shoes in the house after you get home can track dirt, oil, toxins, fecal matter, bacteria, and other contaminants that can lower the air quality in your home. You can purchase a pair of inside slippers that you wear only when you're inside and switch from your outside shoes to your indoor shoes as soon as you get home. Use natural cleaning ingredients instead of commercial products. It will help you avoid breathing in harsh chemicals in toxic cleaning products and reduce the chance of respiratory infections. Some simple swaps you can make are using a microfiber cloth to clean surfaces in your home instead of cleaning wipes that are not only contributing to pollution, but also contain bleach that can aggravate your skin, mucous membranes, and your gastrointestinal tract if ingested. Swap out toxic air fresheners and commercial candles for fresh or dried flowers like potpourri. You can even swap all-purpose cleaners for alcohol, hydrogen peroxide, or vinegar and baking soda. Regularly clean fans and ear vents. Dust can build up over time if you neglect to clean ceiling fans, portable fans, or vent fans around the house. They could be blowing dirt and other chemicals around your home. Wash your bed sheets weekly. Every hour, the human body sheds approximately 1,500,000 dead skin cells. A typical night of sleep can produce over 12 million dead skin cells that all end up in your bed sheets and contribute to dust mites. Making sure your bed sheets are cleaned can eliminate respiratory problems while you're sleeping 8 hours every night. It can remove dust mites and can even improve skin appearance because there will be fewer body oils on your sheets that can contribute to acne and rashes. Purchase an air purifier with a HEPA filter. This can help remove allergens, dust, and other pollutants from the air, eliminate odors, relieve asthma symptoms, improve sleep, and remove toxic chemicals like radon and asbestos while also increasing life expectancy. Some old-fashioned things like fresh air and sunshine are hard to beat. Laura Ingalls Wilder More people are working from home and spending a lot of time indoors, which can be harmful if you're not mindful of your indoor air quality. Indoor air quality is actually twice as harmful as fresh air outside, so it is important to spend time outside to get some sun and fresh air. There are many health effects caused by air pollution. It can contribute to asthma attacks for people with an existing asthma condition or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It has been shown to increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and cause heart attack and strokes. Air pollution can cause lung tissue swelling and irritation in healthy adults and even increases the risk of lung infections. Breathing in polluted air can cause wheezing, coughing, and shortness of breath. And according to the World Health Organization, it can even lead to lung cancer. Just being exposed to air pollution can cause developmental damage, mental health issues, and ultimately premature death because of long-term exposure to unhealthy air. Clean your home regularly. The average home in the U.S. collects 40 pounds of dust each year. Even though you may think dust only comes from outside, 80% of dust is actually made up of dead skin cells and hair, 
as well as pollen and other environmental particles. So regularly wiping surfaces and vacuuming rugs and floors weekly will eliminate dust buildup that can cause respiratory illnesses. Open the windows. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, indoor air pollutants are often two to five times higher than outdoor levels. And in some cases, these levels can exceed 100 times that of outdoor levels of the same pollutants. By opening a few windows, you can help to circulate fresh air into your home. Buy houseplants. Houseplants help to remove toxins from the air we breathe and provide us with new clean oxygen through photosynthesis. NASA even uses houseplants to improve their air quality and their work environments and recommends having one plant for every 100 square feet in your home. Thank you for watching. I hope this information is useful to you. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more holistic living tips.